Hi everyone, slightly enthusiastic today. I was I was so in a rush, but in a really good way, to draw the panda that I'm still in England. <laughs> um, I thought I'd do a video before I go um, of the panda because I just I love pandas and I thought let's just do it, let's just do it now. I put on some classical music to just relax us. If it gets a bit loud, we'll turn it down, don't worry. But I wanted to show you what I'm bringing with me to Canada. I'm going on my own and um, I'm using it for a trip to explore and to research and to draw. So I wanted to quickly show you, I went to South Africa a long time ago, it's really fun to see. <laughs> but this is basically the start of my new, newish sketchbook. So everywhere I go, this is Sweden, um, I just started sketching things. Like some of it I'm not even, I don't like, but it's just sketches where you're sort of sitting there and this is a safari I went on. And a giraffe, another giraffe, I love giraffe. I was in a park somewhere drawing buildings. Oh, I just love drawing trees with charcoal. That's gone a bit strange. So I've got all this space to use for when I go to Canada. So I'm thinking, I'm just gonna draw loads of stuff. Even maybe when I'm on the plane, I'm just gonna draw. So yeah, just wanted to say, if you can get a sketchbook of any type and bring it on holiday with you, it's just, it's so much fun, it really is. And it's lovely when you bring it back and then you just have a little look through it, it's really cool. Okay. So, and also, when I bring it back, I make bigger pictures out of it, so I'll show you that later on. Anyway, this is my guinea pig. Oh, no, it's not. That would be interesting. This is my guinea pig. I wanted to show you the guinea pig, because I can't find the picture of the panda that I did. All I've got of the panda is my greeting card, which everyone loves, which is awesome. This is my giraffe. No reason to show you, just I love my giraffe. So, we're going to start off now. Pencil, paper, panda. Pencil, paper, panda. Um, we're using charcoal today, so if you've got any charcoal, which is basically pieces of long burnt wood, so to speak, it's willow charcoal. So if your parents have any, or if you're an adult and you're watching and you want to use your own, um, or you want to go out and get some, then awesome, you don't have to use charcoal. But I thought I'd do something a bit different. I'll just turn the music down, because I'm not going to lie, it's slightly distracting. <laughs> okay. Right, so, off we go. You need your paper, landscape. But then we're gonna do top of the head. This one, I would say, is the easiest animal, and it's so cute. So top of the head, and then you're gonna go wobbly line, up. So, kind of a rainbow, top of the head. Wobbly line down, and then line up. Then, you're gonna go down. If that doesn't make any sense to you, just think of it like this. There's a piece of paper to show you. Hang on. Okay. If you can't do it, think of it like this. That might be a bit easier. Then you're going to just touch this bit here and you're going to do like a, an ear. Now my ear is going to be strange, like it's like a wobbly rainbow because you don't want something that's perfectly round because if you think about an animal even like my ear it's not perfectly round so I'm gonna go like a rainbow this is gonna go pointy up because we want the ears to be different the same a different like different ear same side same side then you're gonna go and then don't have to do that you could just do that but, you know, something a bit different. Then you're gonna go, ah! Don't have to go, ah! Point the ear at the end. Touch up here. So about there. And it's good to use your eyes. Try not to use a ruler when you're doing art. Loads of people say, can I use a ruler? And I'm like, no, no, no. Make your eyes practice. Because when I practice, I get better. Like all last year I did a painting a day, and now I can instantly draw something. It's amazing. It makes me feel really good about myself as well. So touch this bit there, and you're gonna go, whoosh. Now, his face, his face is a big face. I had a panda when I was small, it was so cute. Um, but unfortunately, all the stuffing fell out, which is pretty sad, actually. But then we put all the stuffing back in, and he was fine, he was fine, he was fine. Okay, so touch this bit here. You're gonna go down, down. Then, this is quite important, you gotta kinda go, so you gotta go, ah. Ah, 
as if you're creating like that kind of shape. If that makes sense. Okay, then rainbow shape, rainbow shape, but then choo, this bit doesn't matter too much. So it's almost like wee, wee, like you're doing a muh. Okay, then we want to do the back. So he's got touch this bit there, and you're going to do a back bit there. Then because he's white and black, which makes things very simple, you're just going to do wobbly nose. So that's a bit of his back. Then you're going to do the side of his nose and everything. So first of all, you're going to do a shape that's like, think about a heart, the top of a heart. So it's, how do I show you if you're not quite sure? It's not like that. It's like, like that if you can. Just give it a go. So it's like a rainbow, upside down rainbow, rainbow. Then you're going to go around. Ah, oh, like that. That might look weird, but do not worry. Then you're going to do a line and two little nostrils. Two little nostrils. I think I've gone a little bit wrong here gone a little bit wrong but you know what I'm gonna do I'm going to get my trusty rubber I'm gonna get my rubber and rubber so if you've done this do not worry I love mistakes I actually think they're the best thing ever as long as we learn from them <laughs> um, so yeah rub that little line out if you can it's okay now, just do a little line there if you want. And then he's got like this little bit there. Does that make sense? It doesn't really now, does it, from the side? Okay, two lines now. Little down there that I think I got slightly ambitious when I was like, I'll do a, I'll do a easy panda. It's not quite easy now, is it, eh? Right, okay. So we don't want it to look like it's got fangs. That's not the look we're going for. So this is basically his chin, that's what we're trying to draw, his chin. Right, so you've got your nostrils, you've got your nose. Then you want a line like this and a line like this. So two lines going down. I always think it looks like cheetahs. Like, you know, where they look like they're crying because they've got a line down. Obviously they're not. Hopefully they're not. Uh, by, by the way, you need the nose to do that. <laughs> Just join it up like that. Okay, mm, I've got an itchy nose now. Itchy nose. Maybe you could draw your own nose. It's red as mine. Okay, now touch this bit there. And you're going to do like almost like a fried, reminds me of a fried egg for some reason. So, doesn't matter how you do it. I think of them as back to front bees almost. Then you want like a little O. Oh, rainbow. Rainbow. Try and get it the same level if you can. Rainbow upside down, rainbow upside down, little eye, little eye. Okay, panda needs a bit more of a body there. There he is. There is my panda. He's looking, I don't know, he's, he's looking all right. It's a bit sad. I think the ear's too big. So do you know what? I've decided to make an executive decision. We're going to touch this bit there. And I'm going to make it smaller. So draw that line in there if you want your ear to be smaller. And rub out that line. You don't have to, by the way. It's just, you know when you look at something and you think, hmm, I'm not so sure. So yeah. It's interesting when you're drawing it from the side because it's like, whoa. Because he's got this bit here, we could carry that on and do it like that. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I've got my charcoal. Well, I had my charcoal, but it just fell on the floor and I just crunched it to paint the floor. Okay, so let's get it out. Right, okay, well this is my charcoal for today. Clearly I've got less than I thought. So you take out your charcoal if you have charcoal. If you don't have charcoal, just use chalk or pe uh, colour pencil. So this is my black charcoal. And we're going to work out what's black. So the ears are black. 
got to be super careful with charcoal because it snaps so easily. And the good thing about charcoal, because you could have a go at drawing this with charcoal, so you could like start drawing it like that, because then when you rub out, it's a really nice thing. Like you can still see the line, but you can rub out with it quite easily. So the ears are black. The nose is black, but we're going to go kind of around the nostril. It's a nice way of shading, actually. And then inside these bits are black. So you're just going to be super careful. And don't be scared of charcoal because it's lovely to try new materials. Normally, if I'm scared of something, depending on obviously what it is, I give it a go. If you're not, and then uh, normally I think, oh, yeah, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> so all of this is black. I had a person actually that I taught and they didn't like painting. So we did a lot of painting and now painting is their favorite thing. So it just goes to show that, you know, what you think you don't like, especially if like you're with vegetables. I used to really not like eating carrots when I was a child. Now I love them. I have two raw carrots a day. Let's figure that one out. So yeah, he's back. Anyway, get your finger, get your finger. We can look at it later, can't we? And analyze it later. Get your finger, and this smudge is slightly different from chalk. I really like it, because it's probably a lot more smudgier. So we're gonna smudge around there. It's got this really nice fluffy looking line. I if you can hear the music. Depending on what music you put on when you're drawing, sometimes it can be sometimes it can be a really good thing, and other times you're like, mm, don't really like listening. I'm just gonna turn it down again. Okay, so there's roughly my panda. I would say his back's very arched. I would probably change it and do maybe like I'd probably do that and rub the rest out. So let's get my trusty Tipex again. We all love Tipex. I don't think you're supposed to use Tipex in school, are you, some of you? So pretend I didn't do that. Right. Okay. If you've made a mistake, which to be honest with you, it's not really a mistake. It's more a case of looking at a picture and thinking, hmm, does it work for me? And if it doesn't, change it. That's the best thing you can do. Um, so don't worry when something doesn't work out, like don't throw it away. My art teacher when I was younger actually always said to me, don't throw anything away. If you don't like it, work into it and work over it, which I think is really good advice. Um, because it's, it's sad to start again, there's no need, it's nice to work in. So, get your charcoal, get your charcoal, we're nearly done. Just going to draw around those lines. Every time you don't like something, just look at it and think, hmm, what could I change? It's very useful to do that with everything in life. Okay, then little finger. This is where you can sort of make it look fluffy by smudging in to make it look like, because he's white and black, isn't he? But he's still got a bit of form to him, a bit of tone. There he goes. There's Rupert, my panda. Oh, oh, okay. So that's roughly my panda. He looks kind of cute. If you like this video, um, like and subscribe, share, tell everyone. Um, his ears, his ears definitely up, as though someone's going to be talking about him. And he's like, mm. So if you didn't want that ear pointy, we can chop that bit off and make it more round. Can you see it? But I like him. I like what he looks like, if I'm honest. Um, so in Canada, when I go, I'm going to bring my sketchbook. So if you're going on holiday, make sure you bring a sketchbook and a pencil even. And um, yeah, I'm going to create lots of different sketches and I'm going to maybe draw you a bear when I'm in Canada. So enjoy drawing and I will see you soon. Lots of love. Mwah.